ABC 15 follow up for you. Police body camera video reveals new details of the moments after a truck plowed into a group of cyclists in Goodyear. The crash happened in February of last year on the Cotton Lane Bridge. Our Eleni Dow has brought you every new development since responding to the breaking news that day. Tonight, she's going through hours of new video to better understand how police responded and what the driver had to say just after that crash. The new video I obtained gives us a first-hand look moments after the crash. I received this footage from a public records request, which was given to us blurred and a warning it may be hard to watch. At nearly 8 in the morning. 911, what's your emergency? On February 25th, 2023. We're on a bike ride and uh, a truck just wiped out a whole bunch of our cyclists. Four 911 calls come in. How many people are injured? Oh my God, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can there's, there's at least a dozen. Records did not list the driver of the truck as a 911 caller. We have 20, 20 cyclists hit by a truck. 20 cyclists? Yes. Can you try to lock down that? Holy sh Officers responding to the Cotton Lane Bridge also shocked. <laughs> Yes, sir. Is it Pedro? The driver of the truck, How are you doing? Pedro Quintana Lujan, told officers he crashed on his usual route to work. But I saw that there were a bunch of them. A bunch of them? But, like I said. Do you know if, were they in the in the bike lane? Were they in the lane? Do you describe kind of where they were at? No, they were like in the bike lane, yeah. Yeah, in the bike lane? A little bit. Okay. Officers went from victim to victim. 20 cyclists hit. Oh, just sure on Meanwhile, Quintana Lujan telling officers he called loved ones. Reports show he recorded a video of himself in the scene, a video we've also obtained. ABC 15 asked Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell about the video last week. She sticks with her decision of not pursuing felony charges. The issue is not whether he's the, the actor involved. The issue is whether his acts rose to the level of criminally reckless behavior. Um, and we know he was not impaired, for example. Uh, we know he was not engaged in excessive speed. And so based on um, the unfortunate definition that we're dealing with, it did not constitute the crime uh, that of manslaughter. Two cyclists died in this crash. Is she gone? I don't know, they're still working on a lot before. Is she gone? Karen Melissa from Goodyear died at the scene. What'd you see when you were looking at me? I thought they were all dead. I thought I took him from front to back. He found out about David Caro's death hours later. Caro was visiting from Michigan. That I'm aware of two people have died. Okay. So the, the lady at the scene and then somebody else died in the hospital. Okay, so that's what we're, that's what we got. Police say Quintana Lujan was not under the influence at the time of the crash. So how did all of this happen? I was driving and I felt it going sideways. I'm trying to pull it back, but it's not. it wasn't close, you know? And so my eyes were on the steering wheel, by the time I look up, I hear, I hear people screaming and stuff. A National Transportation Safety Board report says two separate investigators found no issues with his truck. I just heard crunching and crashing and smashing. Victims questioned him at the time, confused and confronting him. Pardon my language, but I don't give a He's like, my, my steering stuck. Okay. And okay. He said, my steering stuck. And I was like, there's five planes and, and 20 foot of middle here. Why would you even be anywhere near us? Victims to this day baffled. He's not facing felony charges. Pedro Quintana Lujan was supposed to appear in court for the first time on Wednesday on misdemeanor charges filed by the Goodyear City Prosecutor's Office, but that hearing has been pushed back once again. The victims still have not seen him, and there has been no new date that's been set yet. Of course, we will continue to follow this. I'm Melanie Dow, ABC 15, Arizona. Melanie, thanks. By the way, she was one of the first reporters right there on the scene, bringing you the breaking news that awful morning and then following up with every new development. You can find all of her reporting on this crash on ABC15.com and on our streaming apps.